Ba, ba, ba. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back. Game two, series two. Young Minds, MVP Hot Six, MVP Hot Six. Taken game one, the stellar Warlock draft in classical MVP style. Yeah, it's gonna be Trent Pax here, casting it up. Joined by PQMZ. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. I have a question. All right. Why Trent instead of Mark? Oh, I never it was, asked. It's pretty easy. It's literally just because it was. Uh, can, people were confusing me with Mott, Mott Dota, which is understandable. I mean, it was just, I had that before I came to Dota, and I just left it, but it was too annoying, and I just had everyone calling me Trent anyway because of how confusing it was with Mott when we were just in general conversation, so I just thought, you know what? Let's make life easy. Reserve time. Makes sense. Yeah, I just kept the Mott thing. to change the, his uh, name, dude. What's that? I should have told Mott to change his name. Oh, I, no, I, I was actually pretty down with just going to Trent, honestly. It's a okay. I will. I will miss like I, all my social media accounts though. Like now, now I like had to, I made all the other things, but now like I have to switch my Reddit account and stuff. And I still have done that. And it's just it's the effort, you know. Maybe even posts on Reddit, man. That's true. That's I true. just read it and enjoy my drama with the popcorn. Cry a little bit inside, kind of stuff. No, we need more drama actually. Where where is our drama? Everything dropping out our counter. Yeah, that's pretty much it, honestly. I'm sure someone could set a crusade if they really wanted Radiant to and get things pumping. Pick. And we need to, like, have some teams break down, or, uh... <laughs> easy to lose horribly at their next LAN or something. Ah, yes. Get the questions rolling. That's what we really need. Yeah, secret back to, uh, Arteezy. Yeah, there you go. Dire team well, we, uh, we're back to Lifestealer for game well, number two. Can't really well, blame them. Uh, there's, uh, a lot of good heroes in the pool, though. Like who? Plenty of ways to deal with this. Uh, Weaver would probably be like a go-to hero for me. Perhaps so, in position one, would you say? Hopefully. <laughs> or four. But uh, as much as people think Weaver's good against Lifestealer, it's only good if you can actually survive the initiation. So you kind of need heroes like Dazzle around with him. Because mm -hmm. the second Lifestealer jumps on you, you normally die as a Weaver, depending how farmed you are in comparison. If you are the target, if you aren't the target, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, then life's good, the right? Days and you shred him, but yeah. it's not as much of a counter as people used to think it is. People have learned to play around it a bit more. That's fair. Uh, we already lost our Slider and our Sand King as well, at least, for uh, Young Minds. Kind of probably happy about that in the sense that some of the stronger initiations aren't there. But uh, there's a couple more in the pool that we might have to dig a little deeper for. Uh, Nyx Assassin we haven't got to see yet today. He's okay. He's not, not yeah. quite the same fun as uh, those other heroes, but there's a Dazzle. Um, no Weaver quite yet, but I'm sure with a Vengeance and a Dazzle, MVP Hotsies will be banning that guy out. Is it too early to call GG, dude? He just... I, I, get, I think these are both their supports, and they're going to suffer from the same problem they've suffered from the past three games, and they just got axed as well against Dazzle. That's like... Uh, if they do Venge as a carry, and they switch it up a bit, Five it's fine. Remaining. But if they don't, I'm in serious concern already. Radiant and I feel like back. I'm just flaming them constantly, but it's really, like, saddening to me, you know? Yeah, no, I I want to see good Dota. But, uh, clearly something they've been doing in the past is not working right now. Because, obviously, if they made it this far, they must have some sort of an idea Ten as to what they're doing, but remaining. this idea of, uh... I don't know, just like group up and fight. They're, they're not falling for it on MVP, it seems. I mean, it's not like they're bad players at all, so it's very possible they just played against worse teams who didn't punish them for no initiation or something. Because at, at the end of the day, your draft is only as good as you can pilot it, and you will beat teams by being better than them more than you will outdrafting them. So... The second you run into a team that's better than you, you need like a better draft than a team that's worse than you. If you're the better team, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like EG do not need to draft amazingly, they just need to draft solid. Teams that play against EG need to draft amazingly to have a chance if they're like a tier 2 team. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Well... These two teams, at least uh, coming in, I thought it'd be a little bit more even, honestly. Um... 
Which uh, I, I guess I'm still expecting Young Minds to have a good chance here, but as you kind of pointed out, if they, they can't work into those initiations, even with the Grave, it's not going to matter against the Axe if he's the one who's remaining. jumping in on top of you, which, let's be honest, it's more than likely going to be him. We, we, uh, we got some issues here, guys. I mean, the draft is still fine, I think, if they move Venge to a core role and they go a bit more pushy. Because, uh... There's still like Shen in the pool, they can do Shadow Fiend and stuff, and there's still plenty of options for them to have like a solid five man unit. Yeah, I was kinda of digging like a Chen 2 myself. Center is a good start though, there's some initiation. Yeah, that, that fits into the uh, game plan much better than most of the off laners I've had so far. Yeah, if uh, they botch it all on MVP as well, this is great for repositioning. Even if they do have a successful in in initiation, this can like allow Shadow Dazzle to Shadow. close in and. Look who so it is! The band hero! <laughs> He's here. Whoops. Kicked out of every yeah. game so far today. See if it was for good reason now. And let's hope so. I don't, I don't want to see. It's pretty obvious uh, that it's just there to cover the axe calls and uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be really annoying to lane against as a support. It could even be a mid laner. It's, it's flexible. Yeah. It's not unheard of, and they just pick, like, other supports, and it's quite good. Well, uh... Well, I guess, I think it was them who had the mid-morphling the other day, so I'm not going to rule that out either, but... Uh, I... Yeah, more than likely, this is probably going to be the position one. Uh, and likely, I guess we're, we're pretty sure this will be position four silencer, too, but... Uh, again, not exactly guaranteed. That'll be the OD. Maybe think that was going to get banned out. They will take it now. But then again, they have the 4-5, so it's fine taking your mid in the 4. And that'll uh, certainly help Axe get the ball rolling before Blink Dagger's available. Yeah, it's also just like... It's so good against the hero so far. <laughs> yeah, what's going to be funny is if... If, like, Morphling gets astral or something, they can just, like, global, and Axe is just going to, like, walk into him. Like, he can be so far away and just, like, make his way over uh, without the waveform being there or something. It's just... There's a, there's a long time to set up on this guy, thanks to Silencer. Five seconds remaining. I'm not so sure Morphling's a hero you want to play into Silencer. The hero is so reliant on... Reserve time. Generally, you want, like... Lincolns, or some kind of flip pushy esque item. This yeah. game, you just have to go Manta. Like, there's no question, you have to go Manta. Or BKB. You cannot play around silences like when you're relying on your team fight. Because you can't have your Dazzle cover you this game, and your Venge, yes, can swap you, I suppose, but. I don't know. I, I'm not feeling so hot about it. I like it a bit more than their other drafts, because at least they have some initiation now, so there's more wiggle room. Well, I can certainly get behind a uh, Rubik 5th pick. That's what we call the value town, I would say, in uh, this patch. Great support. It'll be helping out really Mr. Good Silencer. Yep. yep. Loads of good spells. Dazzle, Venge. Morphling, man. Oh, oh, stealing mm. his Aji stuff is so good. Yeah, that, that's a <laughs> classic, actually. I haven't seen that one in a while. We haven't had too many Morphlings, but that's always a fun one. And even more tramples. valuable now, I guess, but... The, uh, the changes to stats and whatnot. I guess it's more valuable in the sense that you'll be relatively tankier than other heroes compared to the past. But, I mean, that doesn't come into play until the later stages of the game anyway, so... Not too big of a deal. But... This Tinker is, uh, I think, a bit too greedy. It's a little YOLO for your likings. Oh, I think the reason they picked it is it seems to be a hero he's comfortable with. They've gone to it multiple games. It's a pretty strong hero against um, a lineup that wants to get into your face. But you kind of need, like... EOT blink on this hero with a soul ring regardless, and then you, against Silencer you're probably investing in a Yules, which yeah. isn't that bad against the rest of their team anyway. But it takes you a while to get online. No, it's Hopefully. all about the uh, the rearm Lotus. That's maybe the, yeah, that's the but, true play. Uh, I think Yules is just like a better item overall because <laughs> you can uh, actually get your blinks out and stuff. But. 
He takes time to get online. Center, unless he gets a lot of help bottom, he's gonna uh, probably be demoted to the jungle and play fairly passive till he gets his blink. So he's gonna take a while. And Morphling takes a lot to get online. What's gonna happen? MVP is gonna um, shit on your lanes if you don't play well, because they have like overall safer lanes. I think they have a support that the battle begins. zones and off lane are better than. Nearly any hero in silence, though. Yeah. Rubik actually has, like, roaming potential to, like, the top lane at least. I'm but... thinking, like, who's more annoying to lane against as an off laner? Is it Silence or Skywrath Mage? It's it's tough. Definitely Silence, though. You think so? He's, he's more. I yeah, guess cause... now now that you can't suicide and be immediately back in the lane, Silencer's way better than Skywrath. It's also, um, the shrine helps a lot. You need to, like,. Not get five priorities on the Skyrath, and uh, his nukes actually aren't that big a deal anymore, anyway. Yeah, this is a fun Centaur's gonna have getting boxed from level one. Yeah. He, uh, well, I kind of expect him to really live through low. this. Maybe he won't. Yeah, he won't. <laughs> oh, he doesn't solve that auto attack. I guess I'm wrong. He let there it go. A second one following. So. He also missed the lane ward. Like, this is a sad sent on man. This is. Uh... Oh yeah, he did too. I saw Venge come down with uh, with two of them, so I thought maybe he'd have a second chance at it, but no, she was. She took the other one back to her. Yeah, that lane's over. So into the jungle goes Risen. Maybe he was just I mean, like, you know what, the salve's not even worth keep or losing. The lane's actually not over because this uh, double wave's getting to his tower. Oh, yeah, they didn't get the pull. Uh, wait. Oh, trolls, maybe. Grace is trying. Uh, I can't quite get right, that. I'm not sure what happened. Like, they aggroed it, and then they just went back to the camp. They were going to get the pull initially, but... And now they miss it again. Like, if, if you die to get levels in a lane and get the lane in this position, it's completely worth it. Yeah. It's always favorable for you. The only time it's bad is if they pull, and uh, then you... Give them first blood, they get control of the lane, and they get the money to uh, buy like their first Karina's run of been in here groups. bullying up onto light as well up top with these mud golems, and reason actually TP throws them to the low ground, thinking it was a possible kill potential maybe, but light uh, not able to catch him in time. Plus, doesn't have berserker's call anyway because he's still level one, and Creed will just walk himself away. Well, at least their uh, mid lane's going really well. This is what you'd expect early, though, I think. OD gets a lot harder to lane against when uh, Astral gets level 5, level 7. There's a smoked up Rubik here and a relatively low Tinker. They can definitely get this. He's going in, and uh, oh, Centaur went down to neutrals. I don't think that was planned with a salve in his inventory. Because that shouldn't be a thing anymore, right? Yes, he uh, missed my Doctor Carl. Carl's just trying to YOLO and go for this, but he'll. Oh, he's got a fairy fire, so he'll be okay. Get himself back. He's having a really nice time, and then more things on touch top because uh, neither of MVP supports really do too much if they come up here. Yeah. Light's also doing okay though. At least uh, he's still in experience range. Yeah, he's in nowhere near as much threat as uh, Antar was. No stacks go back to, though. But uh, Reason's making his way up top there now. Uh, Risen gonna shrine. Oh, now they are going up top. Still with the Wave of Terror, not popping it. So I guess they don't think this is the kill play here. In right place, right time. This is a much more favorable game for uh, Dire Side though than it was previously. They're getting off to decent lanes. Their off lane is getting good levels. Sun CS. Their mid lane is winning. It's a stomp though. I mean, not that it really matters. It's a rage there, so would have been pretty picture perfect. And uh, Risen will be all right though. He's got a salve. Dyer's bottom tower. And he might be able to pull them off this tower. He has to be somewhat careful. It does a lot of slow, but he has TPs and they. Oh, Korea. Oh, um, hello? Alright. 
Hi, it was camouflage in the tower. It was <laughs> it's the next level. Grace not quite able to find it, so. Ah, oh, the old arcane curse. What is the slow now? 12%? That's not too bad. That's a good spell. A lot of attention in the mid lane. Reasons back to his little shenanigans. Krita's gonna run into him, just throws a stun and runs the other way. Says, no, I don't want any of this shit. I am done. Benja's out, comes back with no mana. Probably thinking, you know what, I should probably go home and shrine. Probably will. But now there's a Tinker. Astraled up here, lifted. No arcane orbs, though. So no real no, threat to Carol. Well, I'd say that's uh, mission accomplished, you know. Rubik's not scary right now at all for them, so... Beta TP, that's better than nothing. Well, back to Fred, though. I mean... As I said, lane's going a little bit better. He's pretty firm for himself. Uh, Centaur maybe even ahead of the experience, I want to say. Yeah, he is. Decent clip ahead of our axe, despite being the only person who have died in said game. Doing so a couple times, including some neutrals, but... I think you definitely take the experience over the farm at this point. But, I mean, they're both level 5, and axe has got four, five hundred 500 more. It's only going to get easier for axe as well. Now he's got his tranquils, jungle. Centaur's just nowhere near as fast as the jungle. Hero. But once he gets six, he could start being active, I suppose. Like him and both his supports are uh, pretty scary trio. If they just smoke up and they can insert it into some people if they would like, <laughs> and they can make a lot of space for their uh, too greedy a cause. Then if Tinker does like get enough space to get an early BOTs and he's got the 3-2 build at the moment, so his nukes are at least leveled, then they always have a fourth person when they move around. Kinda just need like a helm on one of their supports for the Tinker to TP onto, and then they can just constantly play as like a three or four. Morphin probably gets BOTs at some point as well. There, there's definitely merit to how they drafted it. There's uh, it's currently quite the push having down on the bottom, though, I will say. They, they never quite gave up. They were hoping that the uh, Venge would come forward. They were going for like a Rubik play, but she never really did. And then I do see Doctor chucking out uh, some lifts here on the Carl. He's got the one of the Arcane Orb as well, possibly considering a play here. If he can catch Carl with the spells on cooldown. Just like sitting with that haste rune, it's so tempting. He definitely needs a plus one though. Yeah. The plus one is coming in form of Zaps. So that's a level one mark, a level two mark. We got uh, Dire Vision, not seeing much, and all we need. Alright, Dodge's already hasted, but he didn't go for it yet. And they have the lane wards so. though. I'll Tinker get wise to it. Oh, he's dead. No, he didn't go. His Astro's put on. Oh, I, well, no, I had. Sorry, I was still in Dire Vision, so I didn't know that Axe was still gone anyway. <laughs> I was, I was trying to, I was like, trying to get into the mind of this tinker, you know. But I wouldn't uh, want to do that, dude. <laughs> it's a dark place right now. Maybe. Well, uh, Axe going <laughs> back to uh, getting some gold, getting some experience, and Risen. He's level six, so I guess maybe even that uh, play potentially could have saved Carol, but in the end, uh, nothing appeared in the mid lane anyway, so Doctor will grab himself another room. It'll be a DD. And Rubik has now made his way up top here to leech away some of this experience while his axe moves into the jungle and also just in general staying off the map. Maybe making young minds a bit weary in some of their other lanes. Yeah, the Tinker definitely has to be slightly more careful. Oh here we go, mid lane. Showing, but... A little bit of a stampede and a stomp. Oh, no, waiting for the TP bad. before Astro. Uh, I don't know. Oh, probably wouldn't have saved him, but at least maybe the mood made the follow up a little bit easier. But they might just find one anyway. There's a grave. There's a dunk. Well, that's uh, you know, axe dazzle, guys. We haven't yes, seen that one before. Well. <laughs> that's got to be in this play. What? Leveling grave against axe. Like one point is you know it's always warranted, but I'm. Oh, At least like in my past too. experience, you max the Q when you're against Axe, because Grave is like, it's it's niche as a spell now. It's no longer the core of the hero. Right, no, you're, you're not a Dazzle player anymore. You're something else. You're a Venomancer. It, you're, you're, you're like Q. this heal bot that, like, 
Yeah, I don't know. It does not feel good. I, I, I used to like the Dazzle matchup when the spin was armor ba uh, physical and the right. Weave actually did something against the hero. Now it's just like it's purely Axe favorite matchup. There's literally only one downside is that if you get into a creep wave and get heal bomb, that's yeah, it. That's, that's the only and you can play around that. Well, especially yeah, I mean, with the jungle and shit now, it's just like... <laughs> Axe just goes there, has an iron talent or something. If, if you're really getting bullied by some dazzle or something, and then the the first five minutes pass, and you don't care about dazzle anymore. So. Well, he's got a blink at ten minutes, so he's happy. Oh damn, dude. He needs a few more ticks. Got the gold. Well, I gotta say, this is pretty worrying out there if you're a young minds fan. For me, at least, I, I would just say that MVP the way they've looked so far. Game number one, this is like exactly what I would not have wanted to see when this game started. I would have been like, alright, as long as Axe doesn't get a 10 minute blink and go crazy before they have anything on the Dire, like on the Tinker and the Morph Link, they might be okay. But he has the 10 minute blink. He can. I feel like he can just kill anyone and the rotations, it just like won't even matter. Yeah, it's like... Young Mind's timing was kind of when Centaur hit 6 oh, and... Carol. They tried to smoke, but now this axe timing is just it trumps it, you know. Oh, they that, had that like range this. though. Yeah. That was like yeah. the Dwight Howard dunk right there. Like the the max reach with the arm. Don't worry, I got you niche NBA Dota fans out there covered. No problem. I mean, it's just like um, Green Script, right? The second you start casting it, yeah, it just gets you get some major ones. range on that shit. And OD has a Midas now, so they're looking really, really good. Yes, this Morphling <laughs> is uh, farming really nicely, but he's not a hero that's going to like take this net worth and dominate the mid game with it, like a uh, lifesteal or juggernaut kind of hero would. He needs like more time to get online. You know, he's looking more around the 25 minute mark as opposed to the 15. Which at that point, they could have already lost all their tier 2s if uh, Tinker gets picked off a fortunate amount of times. The way they prevent that is like doing what they're doing now, where they're smoking the centaur up. But I'm not sure the silencer is the kill they want. Yeah, it's going to be the one they, they get, though. They might even though. not get it, because the centaur's in fucking no man's land. Oh yeah, they don't stampede, but there's our swap. Stop back. Morphling could come through as well. Oh, boy, oh, he's not going to come in, though. All right. He missed a double dunk. Oh, yeah, it's unacceptable. He needs a report, man. That was an easy double dunk. I wonder if he was gonna replicate on the morphling or something, and Reason disabled him, because there was but a replicate is down Ruby there. Is Ruby gonna kill him? Oh, dude, you could have turned and killed him. Three hundred? I don't think so. Yeah, like level four waveform, and then actually, you're right. He like had the fable banner. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I was definitely right. He needed to like start morphing strength for that. That was a pussy play. <laughs> oh man, I'm disappointed. Waveform's such a good spell on Rubik though, it's like... There was a play yesterday so where this, this Omni Knight was getting chased by a, a Weaver, and I just... I don't know. It was one of those times where like, had he turned and like, purified the creeps, would have killed the Weaver, but the Weaver would just like, ran away, but I was just... I had that moment as the caster where I was just like, Oh, I just want this play to happen! Just like you want Rubik turn and kill morphing there, because it'd be so great. But it, it, it asserts your dominance, you know? Your lowly five position Rubik just dumps to <laughs> their one position hero with triple your net worth. I mean, that, there's like, what, a 3% chance a GG comes out right there? Like, just from that? I, that's worth taking. I mean, that does not happen if you're not in NA Dota. NA Dota would GG out there, for sure. <laughs> Especially if it's like, um, who's the most tiltable carry? <laughs> NA doesn't have any carries left, are you serious? We lost them all, they're all gone. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're only good ones are European. The only, the only, we Canadian. only have Arteezy, and he's not even that tiltable anymore. No, but he's Canadian, not US. That doesn't count, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know, like some tier two. The best, the best NA tiltable. carry right now is Moo. Shout out to Moo God. That guy looks so good lately. Oh, you mean you give him Monkey King? Hey, man. Even without Monkey King, he looks good. You see him on Bristol. Oh, Ag sorry. Yeah, with the with the Bristol game. Bristol Agnims, dude. God tier. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that was the reason they won. Hey, nice astral. Save him from some rockets. Oh, give him the laser. Count of pure. All right, Let's reason really wanted that laser. Oh, jeez, reason, please. 
Oh, this is where you regret not having Shrine Claws. And you walk to the shrine, you go, ah, oh, shit. I was trying to slip down for so long. I'm gonna go fire some jungle camps with my DD rune and my, my laser. Uh, you actually just go sit bottom and hope for a kill and then you use your own on yourself. But he's firing a self out. He's a core player now. He's just using the courier speed boost to fire himself out. <laughs> oh, it feels good, man. <laughs> oh, it's the global silence of the jumping on the axe. This is, uh, what you expect. I and there's just this oh. dazzle there who's just like, I mean, bro, what do you want me to do? Like, it's an axe. I'm sorry. I don't really do much this game. I hope you understand. Yeah, they really fucked up, though. They didn't wait for Rubik to get in earn range. That's a huge misplay. That's pretty much game losing, I would say. Uh, I agree, actually. Now Rubik has to use the self on himself. Hey, man. It would have been a waste of the courier's time if he didn't have to use that self. And he got a clarity, so I mean, really. Hey, he's not even using the self right now. And oh, here we go. He's gonna go in. He's got level four laser. He's gonna uh, blow some bitches up right now. This dazzle is actually so. Uh, dead. There's only like five heroes here. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Come Make on. some space Come for on. your team. All right, it's the radiant vision. They see Corito. I'm pretty sure they know there's like three heroes here, but they don't care. Oh, oh, that, uh, uh, centaur blinks in. Right as they're about oh, to man, go. Oh man, the bait was so successful, and then the centaur fucked up. All right, up. all right. They're actually about to sentry they're... this. They're out. Oh my god, they're dewarding. They're it. gone. What players? But they they did kind of like use four heroes to do that. <laughs> I'm sure it's. Uh, is that a net gain is, for the uh, radiant? <laughs> yeah, no longer is he on top of the network. He has been caught off pretty swiftly by uh, the Midas OD and the Vested Life Stealer. Yeah, I feel like I haven't looked at this OD in a while. Oh, one and one. Doctor's just been punching creeps, doing his thing. Casual OD game. Yeah. Just wait to get your items up and uh, let your team. Run the game for you when your axe is so fat. This and your a, Rubik's uh... able to like steal spells and push up lanes. It's a good Rubik game, man. But your team's ahead, you feel like you can just take spells willy nilly and you can fight whenever. This is. This is uh, oh, pretty there's, good. What, chance, 10 so... seconds still global? There, there actually is a slight window here for the Dire where maybe this goes okay. Oh, the Force. Oh, double call on the two. It's gonna be the Morphling as well. Done. Venge, the only save that actually works this game, gone. Stolen Shadow Wave, they'll make their way over to the Dazzle. Oh, they actually had a stun, so... Props to that, I suppose, but... Messed up his dome, so... Yeah. Rest in peace. Oh. <laughs> um... That was just... I am BP having a better read of the game. I, I think they understood either what was happening, or that they needed to, like, group up at a time, and... They just read the game better. And... Yep. That was a pretty sick call to set that all off there. And once again, the damage. I mean, it's been like that through both uh, both these games so far. Life so just opening it. an unbelievable amount of damage. As Carol will get punched up here, but should be okay. He's also keeping his net worth up the entire time. That was a uh, yeah. unfortunate global. It was like just after the rearm. Immediately regret my decision. <laughs> Relax, you're doing fine. You don't need to do anything more than just hit Is Axe gonna solo out, this morph? Oh, that was actually close. Just need a couple more spins. Ah, but who's the real winner? Because now he is spinning Axe Illusion. Ah, there we go. This is the money maker. Mm. Now we just need a Radiance on Axe to maybe throw the game a tiny bit. I'll just follow this guy. I think this is the most important hero in the game right now. The nice. spins we get. Yep, yeah, there's just this illusion. Oh, there we go. Two, three. Oh, missed that last hit. Yeah, it's about dissipate. Well, I mean, he had a good run. That wasn't too bad. Roach, any time now, guys? Maybe waiting for global. Maybe just waiting for one easy pick. But, uh, we, we got an OD. You know, this lineup, it's kind of the same thing OD does. He just likes to group up at like 15, 20 minutes, have some pretty sick items. He hasn't even had to actually do much this game. Oh, look at look at this initiator. You see that sick initiation by OD? I mean, it's better than what Young Minds had for the last three <laughs> games. <laughs> they actually didn't even follow up. That's the shocking part. I don't know. I guess Light they was fired up away. But, away. Uh, but that, it was less important for them to follow up on the Astral than it is for them to like secure this top tower and Start uh, taking the tier twos out. Hey, look at Risen though. Although he's not tanking the tower shots, 
This is some inefficient centaur tower sieging. Uh, he's not tanky enough to do that shit yet, I don't think. He's scared. Well, maybe they can try a play it now. Light's gonna spot this out. TP mid, Fred will spot that. And uh, the Lincoln Sphere holds him for a moment. Oh man, it's like half your HP doing. Wait for him, wait for him. Oh, so much damage. Strength more this coming, but he's gone. It's a pretty quick little back there. No global use this time. Yeah, he can try and it's fine. He's just gonna, uh, walk Archie, drop all his items. Maybe a little bit worried drop. about dropping his Lincolns. Probably for good reasons. That could have ended up poorly. Uh, you're not Swindle Melons, dude. Oh, well, well and we have backpacks now, I suppose, so. Yeah, but backpacking that could actually kill you instead of dropping it. You, you need it active for the second you pick it up when uh, <laughs> this Rupix is going to waveform lift you otherwise, just like the Venge has the luxury of finding out. Carol? Man, this Tinker's oh, in a oh. very compromised All position. Right. Dude, he is being a real player right now. Oh, right. Wow. Solid effort by Light, but not quite. That would have been a, a pretty sick play, honestly. Hey, he's got Zapia Lens now. Get that, get that life so he's not looking AFK. That's my Rubik urns. He's got I don't one think left. he has any. Oh no, he has. Uh, he got one kill. Woohoo. Yeah, I, I think this game pretty much just revolves around uh, getting the lanes out enough, getting a Roshan at a point that they feel convenient, and then tempting the high ground siege. If that goes well, then. They probably just snowball and win the game. If it goes badly, then the game suddenly opens up a lot. And if they can find connections on smokes like this, which is pretty high risk because you don't have anything instant at all. Like, if you find the life stealer, he should be able to rage a centaur stomp from a blink. Yeah. It isn't that impossible. Unless you're, like, buying in the shop or you're AFK or something. That's kind of why they're pro players most of the time. Their reactions don't suck as much as mine. Holding well, Astral mid, not really anyone else to initiate when that's going on. Carl throws in a march to kind of cover them here. Ambitious silencer play, but it's Reason who comes in now. He's going to get the grab on the Centaur. Might even get the steal here. Oh, he already used it, my mistake. He actually already stole it, so there you go. Yeah, the counter that's stampede too was bad, there. Though. Like, one for one trade in a tower? Be worse. Only thing I think now though is it queues up Roche very yeah. conveniently because neither of these lanes are far enough out. That's what they're doing right now. But they need Centaur to fight this too. Oh, they just delayed it by four seconds. Nice, nice. A little, little bit of a mix up there, I think, on the skills. Yeah. It's fine. I just want to make it more interesting. I say do it again. Has a blink as well. Like, oh my god. This game. What? I, I, he must have what missed the Lincolns doing? again. I don't know, maybe he's missing the Lincolns each time. I mean, it's pretty impossible to miss it. You just click on him and then uh, you quick cast your spell. Yeah, but uh, he's trying to be like super pro maybe. Where he's like not even like clicking, he's just like uh, counting the 13. Maybe he's testing his internal clock or some shit. Yeah, you exactly. Know? There you go. There's, there's quite he, the time to be doing it. He's like 12 <laughs> seconds or whatever it is. Uh, I'll never know. Well, we need to do post-game interviews. Man. Yeah, there, there are some serious questions today. <laughs> we got a yeah, couple. Like, the problem is you don't interview the losers, right? The losers are the one I have the real questions for. <laughs> Where were your initiators? Exactly. <laughs> like, in this game, why did you draft like two of the greediest cores in Dota? It, it looks like it might work, though, because uh, MVP are not the best at dealing with uh, high ground defense. OD has the Aegis and he's not the best tower hitter, you know? Yeah, that's true. They kind of want to be in your face, like they were last game, but they don't have the same level of sustain and they very much rely on global carrying them through the initial start of the fight. Like if they get one or two kills in a global, then they can quite happily sit on a high ground and continue fighting. What would you rather Even have in those sieges, the global or the rock? Like, what does more work in those scenarios? I feel like global actually does more because of how much better it is against Morphling and Tinker. So I almost um, feel like this game should be easier. But they don't have the Sand King, that's true. Yeah, but they also don't have the Warlock heal, so they can gain the push a bit more. They also... Um, 
But I don't have an Ember, which is like... That hero is so scary. Yeah, he's pretty safe too. Frida will get caught. Not a big deal. Again, trading one oh. hero for tower pressure. No plus two. Ping, 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 ping. Oh, yeah. PT and plus two, dude. Yeah, it's unacceptable. Again, another game losing. Not handing over urns, not handing over the old two int. I mean, these guys are just sub optimal, you know? <laughs> you can tell them that in the interview. I'll do it, dude. I don't speak Korean, though. Ah. Foiled again. I guess I need a Google Translator for all my questions. Oh, man, that was actually surprisingly close. Carl still goes for the, uh, the march play there. That was a little bit risky. No reason guess is wrong on that one. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's so close yet so far. I mean... They would... They... They... That's so unlucky, man. I hate Tinker when you're playing a support and you just guess wrong in the trees every time. Now they have the Tinker Ward, so... It'll be a bit easier. Like, it's not so easy for them to go high ground this game. They can oh. definitely do it if, uh... Grace is actually they... crazy. Is he gonna uh, live? He just, like, walked into the centaur. He, like, knew man, he was dude. around there. And he He's just... buying so much space, actually. Like, they're just hitting the uh, Tiffery while, uh, they're diving. A Rubik TP back, though, and Tinker's already gone. Yeah, but that's a Tiffery. Like, yeah, no, that's, that's good. That's Gucci. true. Oh, nice Rage, too. Gets off the blind. Stops the Stomp from coming out there. And uh, the stolen stampede from the other side of the map is used here. And uh, they'll kill Avenge. Another laser, though. Doctor really doesn't want to drop his Aegis for nothing. And whoop! He has to can, they, can they force it back? Oh, he does, does he? Yeah. Oh, doesn't even use it. He goes back in trying to disjoin it. Useful now. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was, like, oh, that was pretty sick. Almost exact timing. Alright, so we got the axe. Oh. Rubik has a G morph. Yes. Now the tanky hero oh, and Dota. Nice. Yeah, this is pretty sick. Now we just need adaptive strike. That's the Come real on. play, actually. That, yeah, that's. I haven't had that one happen to myself in a while, but it's always good. It does. Nice rage again here from Shuma. Now on top, and uh, open wounds, making sure that he has really no trouble here. That's a plus too. Carino. Oh, oh. Nope. Uh, with the shrine there, a little bit too risky. Nope. Don't care. That's just a bench using the shrine, you know? Yeah, I thought the other ones were gonna come back and fight at it, but honestly, I mean, so would have went very poorly for them. And said yes. shrine will now be dead. Woohoo! Tier 3 down, tier 2 still up. Feels good, man. Uh, the next shrine's probably their next objective, I imagine. Yeah, easy money. Close out. Uh, Push mid lane. Bothling is uh, pretty close to his E-Blade though, so uh, that's the point where the heroes start being threatening. It's just a question of if they gave up too much before this hero can like, come online. Because Nyx doesn't care about the hero, OD no longer cares because he has Blink, Astral, Hurricane, Fight, he's way too mobile. Yeah. So it's kind of like both supports, and i got to be honest, Axe with a Pipe doesn't really care. He's probably more likely to kill you just by blade mailing it than you are likely to kill him. But... What have we really gotten from Fred this game, too? Like, he didn't go um, for the Mantaville that you talked about. Axe spin. Axe spin. That was, yeah, that was pretty much it. That was the highlight of his game so far. Yeah. yeah. Now, this is a problem. Like, uh, the Manta build is smart because it, like, lets you fight earlier. But, I mean, Morphling's just not as a hero that's designed for that. You used no. to be able to do it somewhat when you ran him mid and you, like, Oh my god, what a call that would be. It's, I thought there was a ward the way they pinged that for a second. Jeez. Oh, he's a man. Dude, look at him dancing through those marriages. Health. Well, those are centaur illusions, actually. So, you know, you can cut the waves even more. Oh, yeah. That's true. Energy. At least it doesn't work on towers anymore. <laughs> Denies the arcane rune. Oh, he misreads the situation. No, he's going. Yes. No. There's a centaur. <laughs> that, there's a tinker. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh light, light. No. Can't oh, find no. the blink. He's blink. He sees him. All right. He's got him. Let's go, boys. The yeah, surprise life stealer. Oh, he can blink. Like these pings. Oh, uh, light's got blink yellow, though. Yellow. Light's got blink. Oh. oh. It's so close. 
This is so far. All right, space created. Tinker, he's doing work. And Morphling now has a Z blade. All right. Well, well, uh, well Rubik. Even Rubik, though, he stole that strength. So it's like, the silencer. Yeah, he, he ain't dying. He just blink dodges it. Silence is the only one. <laughs> uh oh. 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 That's uh. That's not a solo kill I was expecting. Oh, he's a sight. He has a hex. Oh. Yeah, or... that'll do things. Uh, I like your Lotus Orb plan now. Let's go. Dude, I told you. Rearm Lotus Orb. That was the play. <laughs> Yeah, but the problem is he's going to preemptively use it, and then they both get hexed, and then it's still the same <laughs> fucking problem. Don't, I guess no, do, do not find away, any but... flaw in Rear of Lotus Herb, or Herb, okay? This is new meta. Maybe guy. it's a support Tinker build, you know? Yeah. Well. I'm sure that's legit, actually. You just blaze their carry, and then you uh, push out waves. Yeah, that's, that's genius, actually. I do what I can. Uh, that's it, it appears to be Rax from. time, with no Tinker alive. Doesn't want to buy back because it's so little, but at the same time, they're also taking your Rax. But they're like, you know what? I'm a Tinker. One Rax. What can you do? The question is, how quick can they make it two? They kind of need to uh, oh, nice give lip. up the one set, for sure. Reason's really holding out on this steal. There's nobody wants. He wants swap. Good choice. Possibly a little bit of a waste, though, to be honest. I mean, that was a dead bench. Oh, no. The E blade did like 400 damage. Dude, he wrecked that life stealer. It was close. Blink, uh, infest uh, bomb, OD, standard stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty mobile, you know. Like, is he going? Uh, they can like ferocious if they want, but yeah, there's no reason to if they feel the advantages enough. Like, look how strong they are. Somebody's on a roll. Yeah. They feel so comfortable just doing that. There's no counterplay at all. It's so None weird to see have... a like 32 minute morphling with nothing against global silence, but he's just saying that like if they have global, we can't win a fight anyway. I guess so. I'm just gonna go for items that'll win me things when there's no global. But none of them have ways of getting rid of global. It's actually like insane. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, the support's uh, way too poor. That's not on them at all. But <laughs> oh my god. Goes this blink stop, he's immediately scythe, destroyed, wrecked in every fashion, tinker to go the same fate. Carito gets hurricane right, pike. Let's go. Can Jesus I get a moon shard on this OD? Because that looks pretty funny. And then we'll get the axe and Dr. Hey, he'll oh, go he down too. Well. Shuma? Alright, a triple. <laughs> Probably got a total of like 400 gold out of that 2,000 gold. No, 3,000 gold because of the buyback penalty. Oh yeah, he only got 300. So let's see the fight recap. How much money did Tinker get? He got 300 after the uh, buyback cost. So he paid for it. Which is more than you can say about most buybacks. That's true, yeah. I mean, it was pretty expensive this late in the game. Level 21. And all the experience he still gets, not bad. I don't know, like, Tinker talents are pretty shit. Yeah, I actually this... haven't looked at them yet. They're not as god tier as I was expecting. I guess Wait. you go laser damage. I don't think so, actually. Spell steal with like a Shiva. An axe. Oh, I guess you use Shivas, yeah, maybe. I don't know, I was kind of picturing like the, the prism laser shooting around pure damage. Seems kind of dope. Yeah, I, I could see it, but I think the. Spell steal is just a very broken thing in certain ways. But they have effectively like turned the game around. They now have taken Aegis, which before that fight they had no right taking. It's gonna buy them another five minutes if they don't play too overly aggressive and use it. Or you know, just get picked off by Hex. Yeah, that's the thing Very though, likely. like they still have to play really smart. They're they by no means works their way back into this game yet. MVP have a very strong late game lineup if they uh are the tiniest bit ahead. Reason's you even gone could... for bots on this Rubik. Yeah, I was just about to say, like, you know the game's going well when Rubik forgoes getting any item and gets a second set of boots over Axe. Uh, he's even going blood. I like how he even kept his arcanes. Like, he could have just disassembled. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. Well, he there you go. If he actually wanted a bloodstone, he could have just used his energy booster. But anyway. 
She's working towards it. And then he's just gonna have the second set of boots for when his axe, his tranquils get stolen later. I'm sure this is just a weird quick buy where he's actually going eggs, right? There's no way he's actually considering a bloodstone. Um, oh, oops. Wrong, wrong weird, buttons there on that one from reason. Weirder things have happened. He gives the taunt because he knows he goofed on his wards. Excellent. Good choice. Good choice. Well played, I actually reason. hate... Actually, that ward does give vision. It's not entirely useless. Yeah, but I mean... Oh, it is when you use the other ward. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. But the uh, amount of times... The... Oh, I forgot what I was even going to say now. I'm done. <laughs> You're done. It's over. It's the last game yeah. of the day. This game looks pretty over, but... Young Minds, despite oh, being down like say? 17k... Oh yeah, I remember what I was going to say. That you can't use the hotkey to um, change the ward type. You have to like manually click it with quick cast. It's really annoying. Oh, seriously? I didn't know that. Yeah, well, maybe it's different with quick cast, but I recently changed to just having like all my items except for TV scroll on quick cast. And you have to manually click the wards, which sucks. Carl is Unless... in the base. Someone can let me know if there's a different way of doing it, like alt clicking maybe, I don't know. I don't buy enough wards to test this shit regularly. So it's very understandable that, you know, shit like that happens occasionally. I see that uh, we have a Lotus Orb now. It's kind of exciting. On our center, our War Runner. Oh, her. Yeah, and you really help out whoever gets scythed up. Try and save them. Make life a bit easier. Yeah, and Morphling's fast underway from the BKB. The game is really looking up for them. However... Oh my it's... god, Reason just finds this Tinker unintentionally. And not looking at his hero doesn't realize it was actually in range of lift. Oh, nice. I um, got the Aegis for more. Oh, did they in the mid lane at the same time? Yeah, it wasn't even an ulti, just right clicks. They were actually so close getting that Tinker. Yeah, that would have still been a buyback cooldown as well, so that would have been a potential game over. Playing with fire, trying to get a uh, reason he he sees this tinker. All right, there's the lotus. I thought maybe he would just go in and do it anyway. It's a double lift, but he uh, actually has a soul booster. Reason, what are you doing? It's a, it's the sustain for the it's push. The, I was gonna say it's the bots buyback strat. It's the uh, like I got my bots, so now I'll buy bloodstone, so I'll just die, heal everyone, and I'll bots back in with my low cooldown. Does Rearm work with bloodstone? I think it does, right? No, it does. I'm pretty sure it's one of those things that does not. I think the only thing it doesn't work with is Mindless. Oh, you're, you're talking about the Tinker Bloodstone at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I'm on a foul. The Rubik is going to suicide. <laughs> BOT back in. Steal Rearm. Suicide again to heal his team. That is the play. The true play. I'm sure. But yeah, I, I do not understand this Bloodstone at all. I think he's trolling at this point. Yeah, I think he, he knows is the too. game is like... Well, self Lotus Orb stun means there's nothing to save his friends. And uh, Dazzle also not able to save when he's silenced or when he gets no, max. So, double double issues. Yeah, no buyback. I guess Tinker for a full minute gone. There's an ulti still no D. Can I just get myself a, a Rubik Bloodstone? There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's real. Let's go. Suicide. Oh, he doesn't have buyback money. Oh, I mean, but look at this strength morph. You don't need buyback money with a Bloodstone, though. 12 charges, I mean, that's that's money at 38 minutes, right? <laughs> Did he seriously? All right. Yeah. This is pretty great. So this was his whole plan, I guess, to become Tinker? Because if so, it worked. I mean, he has the rearm. He can, like, go from lane to lane and fade bolt. Rearm, fade bolt. Yeah, Slowest yeah. Tinker ever. I mean, he, he sucks at TPing onto creeps that stay alive. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a good start. Oh, is he going to get this one? He's in. Yep, fade the bolt. Choice. Do it. Do it. Rearm. No, it's not worth the rearm. He needs to rearm lift. Please, lift rearm, lift rearm. That's Let's classic, actually. I, I need to see this in my life right now. Let's go. Rearm. Lift. Rearm. Rearm. Lift. <laughs> no, not the Lotus. Rearm, race. Get him. Keep rearm lifting. <laughs> no, stop. Oh. He needs more mana. Damn you, Risen. Oh. Um, <laughs> GG. Alright. Good draft. Uh, not greedy at all. Genius. Weren't punished at all.
At least it was funny. Yeah, it was. It was pretty. It was pretty. <laughs> Three good, on fucking left. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> The only thing you didn't get was more things uh, adaptive. That would have been the crowning achievement. To a, to a perfect Rubik game versus Tinker and Morphling. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Had all the strength, but not the adaptive strike for the ridiculous stun. Oh, well, that was some Dota. That in my I feel sorry for this Dazzle. He bought 18 centuries and 14 wards. And his Venge still had less net worth than him. Oh, oh actually, hurts. let me bring up the graph for you guys as we uh, oh. we close out the day. Okay, so this is some general advice if anyone wants to hear it. If you pick two passive supports, like they did, you cannot have inactive cores. That is how you lose Dota in this patch. You can't hit creeps to win the game. You need heroes that do things like a life stealer and an axe. He did Not a lot a of things. Fucking Tinker game. and a Morphling. <laughs> I'm sorry, ran over, but you can't pick passive supports and have passive cores that need time to build up. It just does not work against good teams. You will always get punished. And they did that like four times. Yeah. Out of four. At least they had an initiator this time. They slightly upgraded. Uh, well, that's it for today, guys. I mean, you got you got your final game of Mr. Cat. And uh, so we will be back again tomorrow. Uh, today I was joined by PQMZ, as you can see in the title there. Uh, and